Oh, yeah, take one. You gotta give us a cue. Okay, well, it's cued. <laughs> Oh, oh, I thought you were taking we're a rolling. picture. No. Oh, man. No, no, we're recording. And so it begins. It'll <laughs> be the last time we see the ocean for about five months. Okay. Okay, we're gonna cut it. I see no. we're climbing these mountains again. This is the deuce of spades. A shovel that you can scoop and then put your escarin in. <laughs> this is Carol who is now going to take these boxes, she's in charge of our resupply, and walk them over to the post office, which is right over there. <laughs> Okay, so we're walking to the train. Apparently we need a board now. We just got here. We're late. <laughs> we're a little late. It's perfect. Oh my goodness. Here we are in Glacier National Park. Glacier! <laughs> oh, it's crazy already. Look at the glaciers. We're recording. Yeah, is this thing on? <laughs> yeah, this thing is on. It's an end of the campground against the permits. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Here. Well, this is the first night here, Lake. and then oh. okay. so so we're we're Lake. Believe how over Red Gap Pass. Boy, here. So get, well, what's it's it's recording. Yeah, this is what does it say there? It says it's a backcountry oh. permit, and then we're going down to trip leader. Trip leader. That's the one. The trip leader. There. He'll just he'll just tell us. It's not recommended. It's, it's not recommended. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not recommended. And how long how long have you owned these and they've been running? 88, 88 Hoss started probably I think excuse me. Yeah, dude, good dances and big thumbs, huh? Ooh, yeah. Up over the sea and follow the shoreline. Chief Mountain. Let's start hiking. Leave our luggage behind. Here we go. go We're on our way to Mexico. And over the state line. The, it's from there. This is a holy mountain, and this was sour grass and sweetgrass. Sweet grass. Yeah, yeah. And we're supposed to create a little smoke from it and then create a smudge on our foreheads, I guess, and anoint ourselves to clear our spirits so that our hike will be good and pure. And the grizzlies will hopefully stay away. That's the plan. Anyway. <laughs> That's the plan. So that's why I'm doing it. Sign me I up. think it might be a yeah. good idea. I'm in. I don't need to be grizzly <laughs> poop. Because they have an agreement, apparently, that there's never been a recorded incident where a Blackfoot person has been eaten by a grizzly. Really? Yes. What? Ooh, it smells amazing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and then it just it marks better, right? I guess I need one, huh? Oh yeah. Did I get one? Well, yeah. He's got bear spray. <laughs> 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 yeah, but yeah, <laughs> this is an agreement between the natives and the bears. The oh. Bear spray is just something the white people use to piss off the bears. Oh. Did you anoint yourself? Do I have any? You're, you got right. some on right. there. You're okay. Good. I mean, we're, like we're clear. All good. We do. I don't know. I, don't I feel like that was good. Now, what time is it? What did we get? A, we were starting the trail apparently at two, two o'clock so on uh, June the twenty eighth. Let's June see 28th. how long it'll take us to get to Mexico from there. Forever, <laughs> forever. <laughs> Oh.
Go, guys, go! It's Queso here. We were down there in Lake Elizabeth this morning, just a few short hours ago. I'm making it on the way up here to Red Gap Pass. Getting it, guys. Having a blast. Here's 8 Mile approaching his first real boot ski opportunity of the CDT here. Let's see how he handles it. He's got a good approach. He looks hesitant though, folks. He's still holding. Still holding. Yay, Mile! And here's Iguana at her first real boot ski of the season. Let's see how she handles it, folks. Is she ready? She looks like she's got good form. Oh, she went straight down to the butt. Is she just going to go on the bum all the way? Nope, she's standing back up. Try to persevere. Good for her. Doing it on her butt. Going on the butt. All right, she's gonna unpack it, maybe put some other clothes on. There she goes, folks. I got bobsled her. Look at her. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Ow! We go to the ocean in this town and to the mountains when we make. If we all ever be saw a bear. We just saw a bear. He's a little baby grins, but he still counts. Gosh. <laughs> Oh, look at that, Jeff. Here goes 8 Mile with the first serious stream cross into the trail. Tell you what, folks. If they say living, I don't know what it is. This is the best. I think you're just about to do the worst part. Is there really? Not Rich wolf shit. That's definitely a piece of gold. God knows I've got a lot of trail to trail. Everyone is going to jump into that shit. That, yes, folks, that is snow and ice. Remind me, folks, this is for a Cadillac margarita in every town. She has to go full submerging into, look at this lake. It's like half frozen still. She can't even get far enough out to get deep to be able to swim. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's the first time we've actually heard her scream in a lake. He's licking my pack for the salt. I know, we shouldn't be encouraging him licking packs though, should we? No. Okay. Okay, go on. Get. Go. Get. Go. Go out. Go oh, that for more. Are you kidding me? Get out of here. Guys out. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Short lived. There it goes. Woo! Yeah. Bye, Glacier. Bye, Glacier. Bye. Bye. Bye, Glacier. We do slack pretty well sometimes, but we're mainly hikers. Mainly. Cheers. And sometimes drinkers. A lot of the times. Welcome to the CDT. Oh, yeah, that's nice and cold. Oh, and muddy. Cold and muddy. Oh, and it fell. No turning back. Look at the iguana's oh bleeding. She might die. Shit's just get out of control, guys. Welcome to the Bob Marshall, huh, 8 Mile? How's that looking? Too deep. No turning back now. No turning back. You can't come back. We won't let you. <laughs> Look at what happened to the trail. It's all underwater. My feet are cold. Ah, oh, there we go. Sky land. So we just went up a pass. We started going up at 7 o'clock in the evening. It took all day to get there. <laughs> yeah. Literally all day. Who are you looking for? I'm just a smiling reflection of everyone else. I'm just being myself. And that's beyond definition. That's why I come out here. Views like that. You guys said it's 17 miles? I don't know. It was I know. only 24 this morning, <laughs> and we hiked like 10 yeah. to here. The other thing is, uh, I had three flat tires yesterday. So, I hope uh, you guys don't have to do that. Yeah, well, you know, I'm just, you know. Uh... Look at our rental car, they dropped it off for uh, us. They dropped it off? Hey, get off the road! 
Back up! Oh. You shaved off two pounds. Okay. Got to go. We're sitting here, Augusta, Montana. They were kind enough to let us sleep here for free last night, even though all the signs say day use only. Everybody here has been too kind. Eight miles soaking his feet in some hot water. Obviously, someone gave us their car to get here. <laughs> yeah. Jim Murphy, you're amazing. Pretty much, this is the best trail town I've ever been to. Ah. Get it, Iguana, yeah. That was yeah. fun, huh? It's 8-12. And we've been climbing up the divide, and I thought it was going to be the end of my day, but it looks like I have to go up one more. <laughs> it can't just constantly be going up, I mean, otherwise it'd be at the moon already, right? Hey, here we are. It's windy as shit. There's lightning striking yeah. over there. Oh, damn it! Grandpappy 8 Mile, tell us that time you rode the lightning storm out on the windy path! <laughs> And it's coming through now and raining pretty good on us, so welcome to the CDT, folks. And now we're waking up and I can see this. I found a knife. Big ass friggin' knife. Made your day better, right? <laughs> Town looks pretty, pretty awesome. <laughs> pretty good right now. <laughs> we'll never end up where we're supposed to be. What we're fucking sign? The sign was gone. Bad. We're way lost. We're supposed to turn left when we turn right. Making a healthy food bag. I'm hungry. I lost 12 pounds. It's only been like two and a half weeks. Ooh, is that a Cadillac margarita? Okay. Okay. Have a good trip. Thank you You're for giving welcome. us a ride. No, absolutely not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta ride the divide. The divide goes up and then it goes down and it goes up again and then it goes down again. So I just I'll tell you what. This is our water source. It's a nice piped in spring. The cows have decided they want their turn now. They have everything in there. Look at it. It's giant. Yeah, it's giant. What could you want that they don't have in there? They might even have shrunken heads. If they you're looking for a shrunken head. Step outside because we're free. Go, Emile, go! Here we are at Spongy Earth. It's now started hailing. Yeah. But at least it's sunny out. Well, we decided we didn't want to go to Butt. It's 20 miles away. Oh, look at that little mini horse. We've taken the anaconda route to do a fast food challenge. Apparently there's a lot of fast food and you walk right through town. So we're gonna try and eat one item from every menu and every fast food place that we walk by. See if we could do it. Don't do the anaconda route. Do the butte route. So Nacho, you completed the challenge, didn't you? I have. I have ordered one thing from every fast food restaurant in town. <laughs> <laughs> good, good times, huh, Guana? Okay. Ready? Sure. You good? How's that drinking, eh, Miles? Double fisted. The only way to roadwalk. Got some vodka and some uh, limeade. Here we go. <laughs> face here and then the day before I fell and I hit my head up here and I also hit my shin. My goal today is to stay up on all fours which is my trekking poles and my feet. Ooh, so pretty. I think that right over there is Idaho. Well, the work is now done and gone, and the funeral bells already rang. In the barnyard, begins the song that lifts my trouble. Here we are, Chief Joseph Pass. We got about 300 miles. Try to get down to Yellowstone so I can see uh, my girlfriend, Hannah. Decided to uh, try to boogie on without the rest of the guys. Real barn, you 
Somewhere at the top of a pass on the uh, Montana-Idaho border. The terrain's been rough and my feet hurt like hell. I'll be damned if it isn't beautiful. Just take a look at this. This is Goldstone Pass just back over there. Now luckily I was able to come down here to this beautiful meadow with this awesome spring because this helps break up 25 mile dry stretch or so on trail. At the end of the day, I will be at Lemmy Pass at the Sacagawea Spring, which apparently Sacagawea and Lewis and Clark drank out of many years ago on their adventures. Wrapping up that uh, 20 mile dry stretch and what amounts to be just about a 30 mile day for me. I came walking up and I saw these names in the snow. It's kind of what I would consider trail notes. So they're ahead of me. That's Idaho, Montana. Idaho, Montana. <laughs> Pretty cool. Right down there is a spring that Sacagawea and Lewis and Clark drink from. I gotta go home and take care of some stuff. And I'm not even sure exactly what that stuff is, but I gotta go home. We just left the Sacagawea Memorial area. We found out when we got there that eight mile is most likely gonna get off trail. Go home and take care of some stuff that's happened that he needs to take care of. It's terrible news. This stuff happens, you plan forever. You plan and plan and plan. You save up all this money to like try to do something like this. And then even still, sometimes life gets in the way. And... We got packages from Boog Sur. We asked them if they would sponsor us. They gave us bar. 600, bar. Calories 600 calories for one bar. Oh, they're they're all natural goodness. I want to thank Big Sur. So Cerveza gave us trail magic. Whoa, is she plugging herself or what? Yeah, she's plugging herself. <laughs> hey guys. And for her, we're gonna okay. send her a beautiful little package of all of our hiker trash that we got in this section. <laughs> she sends us all this nice stuff. This is what we're gonna do. We're thinking of you. Trash. Mouse and Chibichanga, yep, yep. Northbounders. Together, all of us have through hiked the trail <laughs> with our combined forces. Yeah. There they go, northbound to Canada. Oh, We're yeah. headed to Mexico. <laughs> We just left Mike Nielsen, who is Cerveza's dad. Cerveza is a girl I hiked the Pacific Crest Trail with. I wish she was out here right now, but it was amazing that she got her dad a Trail Magic Us. Beers and food. Trail Magic Us for two days. I'm really sad to leave him because right now we're walking through a Montana thunderstorm. I found the cave! Welcome to the boneyard! <laughs> Here we are folks, and apparently what is an old bison graveyard thing, and we climbed in from up there, up there. we climbed down from up there. Old and new shoes. Old and new shoes. Like what, 700 miles out of them? Some of these don't look half bad. But yeah, some of these, I, I'd still wear them. Yeah, <laughs> I'd go for the actual tree. Yeah. Oh. oh! Oh! Denied! Third time's a charm! Oh. Yeah! Hey oh! Third time's a charm! There we go! Nice! <laughs> I gotta do a ridge walk. Gonna go all the way. Blue loop. It's really annoying when you get misplaced. I found the trail. I was further east than I thought I was, which means I'm closer to town. YNP must be in Yellowstone National Park. Oh, yeah. Go. Perfect. Yeah. I got here in time. I got my package. And now she's leaving. 
Mickey Mouse does some sweet hats. Sweet hats. Really cool hats. She's taking a mile with her. And then there were three. Bye. Yo, it's too much to have him and her leave together. Yeah. yeah. Panorama and Zama are in front of me right now. And we have been doing an epic high five. And I think in the next couple days, we're finally gonna have a touchdown. Hot tub. It's gonna blow, I don't know, it's like so crazy. Oh, there it goes. Oh, yeah. Those are some trowels. You're done? You're over wet shoes? You're like... <laughs> yeah, wet shoes suck, man. I yeah. already wet. I like those antlers on the back. I, those are ultralight antlers by <laughs> Gossamer Gear. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god. A little bit of movement. I was not prepared to be <laughs> to my sketchy. limits today. Yeah, sketchy. Oh man. Mm -mm. It's a easy like eating a piece of pie. An iguana is over the chasm of death. Nice iguana. You got it, girl. Um. Wyoming. We're just about Du Bois, Wyoming. The feet issues that Nacho has been having since Helena, which is pretty much the beginning of the trail have become unbearable. So he's going to the walk-in clinic, find out if he can stay or not. You know, there were four people to begin with and now there might be just two. It kind of sucks. Figured it would go away after a while and it didn't really go away. And I don't know, I wasn't gonna stop walking. So I have no choice but to walk. So I saw the doctor and severe tendonitis. Best time to know that it's just severe tendonitis. <laughs> She asked me what do I do With all this freedom that I have With all these different We're just entering the winds right now Fresh snow, awesome, she great without looking back. I told her They save all the good stuff for the wilderness <laughs> People go to those places The wildernesses, okay, there they are <laughs> Yes, I see the face Mr. <laughs> Island day of cloudy weather and it's just it's been pretty hard on this trail comparably to the, like the PCT but I still think I can make it to Colorado I might have to take a lower route depending on what the weather does if it's an early winter but it's mentally hard and draining on everyone getting up to Cube Rock Pass down there it doesn't look so bad this guy has been grumbling Fierce. Maybe not the best place for us to be. It's where we are. Oh shit. That dropped me to my ground, my knees, people. Okay. We got, we got 
try to find a place to just chill. I was counting two seconds. Oh shit, boys and girls. We in a real loud Latin song. Oh my god. This is fucking sketch balls, you guys. Oh my god. This is John Muir shit right here. What do we? Okay, you got it. We gotta chill out here. We gotta just fucking wait. That was a little scary because I was looking over my shoulder. You can't see where it's coming from. <laughs> I haven't really been scared like that in a long, long time. Epic. Look at that. Happy camper. No, I have no easy answer. I don't want to talk about it. It's <laughs> okay. My feet are broken. I need to go home. Oh god, I better go back. <laughs> Tea, not liquor. Should be liquor. So happy to all good. Yeah, but him bear makes anybody. <laughs>Start the story. What, what sadness? <laughs> it's, it's, We're yeah. very sad. Not just going home. His feet are killing him. We can't hike anymore. It sucks. It's sad. And now we're just a, a duo. Teams have to be at least three or more people. Now we're just a duo. Number and group two, but there used to be four. <laughs>And now that we leave the winds, it's covered in snow. Winter's coming. There's a bunch of cool stuff out that way. And then this way, the way we're heading. Uh, yeah, not so exciting. Apparently we have the Great Basin next too. That should be fun. Welcome to central southern Wyoming. He just gave us his cabin. He's driving away. Tim Green, this is too amazing. You're too nice. This is so cool. Look at this cool cabin. South Pass City, here we are, on trail, drink a beer, Labor Day. Yeah. This is pretty awesome. Gonna watch a movie. <laughs> well, I'm a vagabond tramp. 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 I'm a vagabond Okay, folks, here we are today on the uh, lovely Walk Wyoming program, the Great Basin, folks. If you want a trip, come here. Look at this place. It's like going to another world. <laughs> This is it. Great Basin. Yeah, uh-huh. So there's no signage here, folks, but we just want you to know your distances so you know how far to camp away from streams or the trail. Right now, we're on the trail, this road, and we get to walk to that road. If you look close enough out there, you'll see cars going along. That highway is five miles away. So now you know the distances, people. Be aware. Part two of know your distance. <laughs> Looking at that road, three miles. That's a two mile difference, folks. Know your distance. Here we are. Know your distance. Part three. That road now, that's about 200 feet. <laughs> that's how far you should camp from streams and the trail. Enjoy. This is my favorite thing in the world, Tom yeah. Cobb. I've been dreaming about this since Chief Mountain. I, I guess that's why I have a dump run going on. <laughs> Good Saturday evening, family.
fun event. The family that dumps together stays together. More or less just after the Great Basin. As you can see here, um, people are not really practicing the pack it in, pack it out, kind of leave no trace <laughs> ethic. So just, you know, yeah, don't, you know, don't leave your camps out like this, people. This is shocking. <laughs> <laughs> you, you didn't clean up well. My mouth is angry and it tastes like blood. We have left the Great Basin. Here we are, folks, for the CDT Great Sheep Migration 2014. Not sure where all these buggers came from, but all of a sudden they're here. What are you yelling about? <laughs> what? <laughs> How dare you back talk us? We're going to be in Colorado today. Queso. What up? We're going to be in Colorado today. Hell yeah. Colorado. Almost to Colorado. Look at that. It looks beautiful. Hell yeah, man. We did it. We did it. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, the banquet. It tastes so much better in this state. You're Wyoming. You're interesting. Colorado, we're excited for you. <laughs> this is Colorado. I don't know why this feels so good, but I feel like, ah, I'm rejuvenated. We're halfway done by state, so we can still make it. We got nice fall hiking weather, get through Colorado, and then we'll be in New Mexico, and then we'll just freeze our asses off. We'll make it. We'll make it. There's a good, there's a good chance. It's nice and frozen. Oh, the mountains of Colorado. It's gorgeous, but it's fucking cold out here. I think it might be fall. <laughs> We are in a 100 mile endurance race. And Queso has joined the race. One of the most beautiful homes I've ever been in. This is part of our the Continental Divide real estate tour. Yeah. You want to buy something like this, but if yeah. you wanted to buy something like this, I like this would be the, this would be the place to buy it. But these people actually gave us their house to stay. Yeah. This is pretty this is pretty generous of them. I'm still skeptical. That was so cool. I can't believe it. they let us stay at their house. It's like literally right above us. It's great there. It's great there. <laughs> the CDT guys. Come out and enjoy. <laughs> High on the divide. Came from over that way near Sheep Mountain. Cruised over this way to this big bad beast haystack. Came up that gnarly ridge this way. And we're gonna go out to there. Up on the top of Parkview Mountain. It's gonna take me a while. Almost to the tippy toppy. Finally. As long as probably still a ways back there. Oh man, you can see her way, way down there. Poor thing. It's an early hike. 12,000, over 12,000 feet. That shouldn't be too big. I mean, I've, I've done 14, 14 here before. But man, this hill is killing me. Yeah, I made it. We came from all the way over there today. That's where we had lunch, way over there yesterday. That's super annoying. Oh my gosh, we got to this little hut. Inside, everybody's kind of put their names on it, which, you know, some people like, some people hate. But this person's name is Nacho for the CDT 06. Makes me miss my Nacho. <laughs> We missed you, Nacho. Whoa, watch out! Watch out, man! Whoa! Uh, yeah, I think we were supposed to go down that way. Now we're stuck over here on this side. Super stuck. Lost on the CDT. And we're on trail again. Yeah, you see that little thing? That's the CDT. That's how you know you're on trail, people. This <laughs> <That's> is it. <laughs> it's another 12,000 foot passes. Just kind of gonna go straight up there, I think, Queso right there. Hell yeah, it'll be a fun morning. Oh my god, I made it back to the trail. This day is amazing. <laughs> I'm so exhausted. Not what you're supposed to do with your poop. Dig a hole, people. This morning was a living hell. It was a bushwhack. There are all these down trees. I lost my sunglasses. I lost my little orange thing that I kept in my backpack so the hunters could see me. 
I lost my water bottle with my filter on top. Today has not been the day. <laughs> I was just over it. I was over the trail. Look at this awesome ridge walk we're gonna do today with some beautiful blue water down below. It's gonna go to the moon. Somewhere around 12,000 feet. This is Backpacker Magazine right here, folks. Well, there's people over there too. Yeah, these Coloradans, they know how to party out in the wilderness. Oh, do you see that? It's like shimmering in the sunlight. And I walk faster through this than I do the crap. Couldn't barely get through the basin. I could hoof and do 20 miles through this all day. This is awesome. It's frustrating. <laughs> Story of the through hiking life. We came from way over there. Top of James Peak. How are you feeling about this storm that you're coming in? <laughs> I don't like the... Uh, yeah. You can hear thunder way off there, and we're supposed to ridge walk that. It doesn't look that bad, but it is steep on either side. Over there, it doesn't look like it's lifting. Where we're supposed to go over to the 13,000 foot peak, and the pass is over there. And the road and town are down there. And there's Iguana. She's a little freaked out. We made it to the road. <laughs> That bushwhack sucks, and then the clouds cleared up, so then it wasn't really like we needed a bail. Maybe 10 minutes later, but it was like lightning in the distance, and it was just, ah! It's very stressful. Jester has come and trail magic us, and it's pretty awesome. You're focused? Focused. What are we doing? We're, 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 well, saying, we're gonna goodbye go. to Jester? We're saying goodbye to Jester. We're going up there. Focus on. What are we doing? <laughs> Look at that, it's beautiful weather now. See see what being uh, lazy and procrastinating leads to? I mean, look at it. It was pouring rain and lightning and thunder earlier. Lesson learned. Don't be too eager to hike out in the rain. You just can't beat the weather. I guess we just have to join it. Embrace all the fog. Hopefully not another whiteout. Homo to Jones Pass, where I can drop down and get to some water and uh, be off this gnarly ridge for the evening. Hoping Iguana does not come up here. This fog's getting a little tricky. Hard to follow the trail. Made it to the other side of Jones Pass. Really hoping Iguana's okay. I really had to book it to make it up and over that thing. Hopefully she'll be all right and we'll meet up in the morning and she had enough uh, wherewithal to know she probably couldn't make it through there before it turned to total pitch black white out, so. That's the Q Peak Wilderness. And I'm night hiking on a mountain and it's super foggy, I can barely see the trail. Oh my god, it's kind of, it's a little scary, but I'm trying to make my um, best to just focus and, you know, get down, because uh, I keep on seeing lightning off in the distance. Ah! Woo, last night was intense. I made it safely down off the mountain yesterday. I was so excited when I was on a road because it was like so much bigger than the trail. <laughs> the weather hasn't improved much, but at least it, it can kind of can see. <laughs> They make things there, like food. Honestly, I'm get. I don't know what I'm gonna go get. We're slack packing. We're slack packing. We're, we're doing gonna, this. We're cheating. We're, we're gonna walk the bike path from here to Copper Mountain because there's nasty clouds and we're sick of that crap and it's a lot shorter. The new improved CDT right here, folks. They paved it all the way from Canada to Mexico. The north bounders, those dirty fuckers, they stay on their <laughs> side. Us dirty south bounders, we stay on our side. Summit Boulevard path. That's by Summit Boulevard. They have Bell, the KFC, the Walmart, the Safeway. <laughs> Colorado and the CDT Trail. Look at that. That's a nice trail. The signage for the Colorado Trail is amazing. I can't believe that we've been able to be on trail continually for almost the last day since we hit the Colorado Trail. There's like one over there and there's one right here. I mean, I feel completely found. Damn! Colorado is yellow. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can't believe Oh my gosh! Oh, we were sitting there for like an hour! And it's right there! Oh, thank you, Leadville Hostel. South Bounders, eight days ahead. They've been eight days ahead of us this whole trail. We can't be that big of slackers. They're slackers just as much then, see? Bridge at, at bottom of the hill. Is that a bad thing? I've never had a warning for a bridge. I mean, I kind of like those things. My feet stay dry when I have one of those. So you got caught pooping again. Well, I had to yell at them and stop, and they stopped. I could see them, like, not that far, like, literally, like, <laughs> behind those trees. Because then I literally walked, like, another 30 yards and the trail junction was there. I didn't know it was there. And so interact with them and see them face to face. <laughs> Two times in a row. That's Mount Albert, covered in fog, and there's thunder off in the distance. 
plans, training. I guess we'll wake up in the morning and see what it's like. If it's still thundering, it's not worth the risk. In my opinion, it's not worth it. Yes, look at that sky. It's clear as day. We're going up Mount Albert. Shoulder of Mount Albert. It's just right up there. We'll be there in just a few minutes, folks. We made it, Jason. There's no sense in staying in Waiting for this. Here we are, zooming down Mount Albert, 14,433. Head down towards the uh, Twin Lakes down there and meet up with a buddy of mine, get some some brews, whatnot. What a great day! Day shy of three months on trail, and we get to celebrate by conquering the highest peak in Colorado, the highest peak on the Divide. Great day to be alive, I'm loving the continental divide. At least right now, when it's not kicking my ass. Totally. This is a pretty sweet place. They have a can opener and a peeler in case, I don't know, you're gonna peel potatoes or something and hang out. Twin Lakes General Store. It's very actually, like, filled really with awesome. everything with, that you ever would need. And the people so are really, the, yogi guy. the people are really nice. And they have actual alcohol, people. Not that near beer crap in Colorado, but yeah, real actually, beer. One of the best stores on trail, Carl and Katie. Awesome place. And now it's snowing. First sight of snow. Nice and snowy outside. Yeah, we've got to stay in this nice little awesome emergency shelter. <laughs> and our shoes are rock solid. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, it's a, it's a lovely thing to wake up to. It's a lot of snow. Um, what should we do if we wake up and it's like a bunch of snow everywhere? October 1st, you can see the snow falling, the snow that fell September 30th. It's snowing again. We're gonna go head down to Buena Vista, check out a cafe maybe. We're only at like 10,000 here. Yeah, and we have a bunch of passes coming up that are like 12,000 plus. We're gonna maybe go get some forest road maps and see about alternate routes. What do you love about when, you, when you're hitchhiking down a road? I people drive by like that guy. No, thank you. No. Not interested. No, thanks. <laughs> not even the, oh, hey, how you doing? Yeah, I'm not going to stop, but I'll smile. No, the, no thanks. Yeah, we're going to get these maps so we Good can maps. pick and choose like our yeah. route so that we know our bailout points, important information about the woods out there, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Sadie T, we're going to start it off with the bushwhack. DC's out hiking? Hell yeah. Blair goes Dennis. We're heading north. This is another thing you don't want to leave on the side of the trail. Ladies, that's a tampon. I think you all know how to like get rid of that. We're actually on the Colorado Trail. We decided to take that because it'll be safer. We can kind of wait to see what happens with the snow. Because the side we're on is like a little banana bell. There's official routes and there's unofficial routes. It really does become like a pick your own adventure because what you're able to do at the time, you're able to do it. There may be a lot of different alternates that you can choose to. <laughs> the back is killing me. I put too much food, I think, because the damn Walmart. I have enough food for like uh, two weeks out of the woods. I'm good. Now let's go over those mountains. Give a hoot, don't pollute. Hang oh. it in, pay it out, you jerks. <laughs> and it is gorgeous out here. We're riding this beautiful ridge line this morning, and it's just, it's lovely. Dove by some is the toughest trail in the country, man. What do you think? The toughest by far. <laughs> We're kind of in these, what uh, Colorado calls rolling hills. They're still about 10,000 foot. These are the San Juan Mountains. We're hoping to go through, but there is a lot of snow on it, and we'll have to see how the weather goes. This is October 8th, folks. You can see the frost on everything. I'm trying to get off the tent. The worst part of the day. Yeah, it's pretty neat, guys. We have been discussing what the plans are for the end. Queso has a deadline to get home. And I really don't need to be back to Oregon. I'd like to be back before Thanksgiving so I can spend it with my family. I think it's November 10th he needs to be starting to head back. I want to get through all this hard stuff, this high stuff that could potentially become dangerous. He may try to boogie ahead and he'll just be able to maybe push bigger miles than I will be able to. We're probably going to split up and not finish the trail together. We're kind of going through the Lagarita wilderness by the San Juan. And we just came across this random register. This guy, Nathan, was here on the on the 28th, which is nine days ago. And he's literally been like eight, nine days <laughs> the entire time <laughs> in Canada. He started seven days or eight days ahead of us. Yeah. Every so time he takes a break, we take a break. We'll never meet those guys. Those we'll never meet those Southbounders. Damn it. 
The fair you one. The keeps me from myself. We almost face ourselves alone. That is all beetle kill. Okay, how many passes has it been? Four. We're kind of like just getting into the beginning of the San Juans. We were debating on if we were gonna head down to Creed and do the Creed cutoff. I still kind of wanted to see a couple more of these mountains. Because if the weather holds, it's really beautiful out here and it's, I mean, it's gorgeous. Yeah. That thing looks nasty. We're like here. We have eight miles to go from here to Spring Creek Path and they're all at 12,000 feet. I don't know if it's the best idea. Unfortunately. So we may um, take this side route down into Creed, but we did get to see a little bit of the San Juan. We've gone through a lot of snow, my feet are freezing. Start new sun and clouds, stormy things, whatever. Show me a sign, strike lightning. So the storm ended up clearing up by the time we got down off the mountain. It's kind of a little too late now. So. The weather may be turning to snow. Here's the sign I wanted. It's snowing, maybe at like 10,000 feet. And if we were up at 12, I don't think we would be able to see anything. I can barely see out over there. I feel like we made the right decision. Mr. Face is here. <laughs> oh, hey guys. <laughs> hey. And the dog, El Camino. And that storm is dumping probably a bunch of new fresh snow on those San Juans. We're gonna have to take that route, which is... <laughs> Deep Creek Trailhead. <laughs> the Creed Cutoff. This is supposed to be the low route. We have to go up there, I don't know, maybe 2,000 feet-ish to uh, get up and over. Sawtooth, you're supposed to walk about five miles at 12,000 feet or so, but walking further higher into a nastier, stormier whiteout doesn't seem like a good idea. Colorado, keeps you on your toes, always. We had to hunker down in our, our uh, tents because it was snowing outside. You can see it. Whew. It's coming down quite a bit, and now we're hearing thunder. Is this good? Oh. Okay, this is attempt number two to try to go up and over Sawtooth. We waited out the storm, and then of course right when we get up here, it's looking like it might do something again. Whatever's coming in does not look good. Back on the CDT proper, we've been down in that valley. But, uh, the weather center is supposed to be nice for four days. So. The storm. Okay, we gotta get the fuck down here. Yeah, we are on the right side of the mountains now. And even though we can't see and the storm's coming in, all we have to do is just drop down, we'll bushwhack. We'll fuck eventually it. get to the road. We'll eventually get to the road. The road's somewhere out there. Successful. Attempt number two over Sawtooth. It's attempt number two success. We came down from a trail that was closed and saw that there were hot springs on the map. We figured we'd salvage the day and they make our day like totally better. And yeah, this is it, the end of uh, Iguana and I. I'm gonna take off here in a little shortly and go up to the pass and hike by myself. She's <laughs> getting all emotional, I'm walking away. Fine, let's do it, rip it off. Rip we're doing it, off. it, yep, we're doing it. I gotta go before Hana yells guys. at me. Good, <laughs> You're good to you, Iguana. Good time. So me and Iguana part of ways, gonna go up to Wolf Creek Pass and start hiking New Mexico by myself. I've got four weeks to uh, finish the whole thing. I've got a deadline, gotta get home. Well, here we are, the South San Juans. Amazingly beautiful place. It's my first day by myself after splitting off with Iguana. Just kind of trippy to think about there's nobody to talk about these views with. At the end of the day, you know, nobody to talk about. It's gonna be a lonely, lonely trek through uh, New Mexico, but. So there's Queso's footprint. I'm doing this section with Let It Be, and he joined me for the trail from Pagosa Springs to Chama. Following Queso's footprints, he was apparently here yesterday. Here in the southern San Juan, in this high alpine terrain, it's a little tricky to follow the trail. They got some cairns occasionally, but you can see them, I mean, there's the tread in front of you here. It's not that well worn. Or... I'm hoping this guy's gonna bugle for us. There they go. This is the last day in Colorado. I hit Cumbres Pass. As you can see out there, the mountains just aren't as big 
Uh, awesome man to bummer. Colorado's been beautiful, but I'm ready for a little bit easier hiking, especially with the deadline. So, dude, doing a little road walking. First afternoon in New Mexico. This stretch of the lay map, for some reason, doesn't have his compass rose to utilize the GPS and kind of pinpoint yourself. It's been a little bit tricky to do stretch. New Mexico, the final state, the home stretch. In New Mexico, and by to the South San Juan. Oh, they were gorgeous. Zama sent me this package. Delicious goodies. And the best part, mustachios. At Cumbres? Cumbres. Cumbres. Cumbres Pass, if Iguana could ever say anything correctly. <laughs> I'm here with Let It Be. We got to hike that last section together, but now it's off to Mexico. I think I'm about to cry. What are you doing? Oh. 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 Parting is such sweet <laughs> song. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, I guess I'll start walking that way. Here we go. First day on my own, I guess, since Montana. All I have to do is get to Mexico. That's doable. So that's New Mexico, and this is Colorado. Ducati. Oh, yeah. Here's to the last day. I'm almost there. Road walking, my favorite. Not really. Hung out with some hunters last night and I uh, actually tried eating squirrel. Rather intense since uh, I'm normally pretty much a vegetarian. Just to remind myself, it's about the smiles, not the miles. Get have fun out here, even though it's lonely. It's sunny off over that way, kinda. I mean, this is that sunny, wonderful, wet rain weather we've been hoping for. It's a lovely sight here in New Mexico. Ringed cow draw. I'm not quite sure if I'm where I'm supposed to be. It's okay, because I get this water, sock up for the evening, figure out exactly which direction to go. I go from there, but water, it's a good thing. The first map in New Mexico doesn't have a compass rose on it, so I can't actually pinpoint with my GPS because I don't have all the waypoints loaded. There doesn't appear to be a trail anywhere. We are leaving Ghost Ranch down here by the uh, Rio Chama. At least now New Mexico has gotten interesting. You know? I swore I was on the wrong trail. And I was like, no, it kind of feels right. I'll just follow my heart. After maybe four or five miles, they finally put a CDT symbol on there. Not on any of the what, turns that I had to make. After walking a mile of straight road, like they've decided to stop using the CDT emblem to tell you which way to go. Now all with this trusty map thing, <laughs> just hoping that this is the right road. Kind of looks like a road, right? Just wandering out here in the woods. Okay, wait, I must be on trail, because look at that. That's Queso's footprint. That means he's about two days ahead of me. I'm tracking him like a predator. <laughs> just make sure the shimmer is this telltale sign. So I decided to climb down this. I got lost and I went down a cliff. Ugh. Kind of feel like an idiot right now. I just wish there was a compass rose on these maps so I could pinpoint myself or if I had um, that app that could show you the trail the whole way on your iPhone. Why don't I just have that? That would be way easier. I'm following a drainage out and of course there's a cliff. Oh my God, will I ever get to this road? Hallelujah. I found trail, I went north and I found it. I'm so excited, I want to kiss the ground. I've been lost for probably three hours. Queso wrote me a cryptic message saying that next to the popular building, past the laundry, in the bush to your left, you'll find a beer. Oh yeah. Oh, that is the best geocache ever. Here's to you, Queso. I hope you're having a good hike. This is the 197. Ooh, flashy. I'm struggling. Hitting a real low. Ready to be done. Ready to be home with my girlfriend. Ready to not be schlepping water through the desert. Like, this is not quite how I envisioned my finish. And with having to be rushed, probably gonna have to skip a few miles. Indoor highway walk, which I hate walking these roads, let alone highways. So. I'm gonna just try to have some smiles and not worry about the miles. And that's gonna be the story to my adventure, you know? It was a really heavy video for me to make. Walked off the trail, was up on that little ridge up there. I'm gonna walk back to Cuba. I think I've decided uh, this is the end of the trail for me. Not enjoying feeling like I'm having to race a goal that um, I just don't think I can make. Um, I'm not that crazy of a hiker. I don't know, 30 miles in a day is, is a lot of miles to me. 
So I've been doing that, that kind of range for a little while now and hiking by myself and just not having the best of time and I guess I'm really missing home. I guess if I had the time and whatnot, I'd just cruise with iguana down to the border and finish this thing out. But uh, since I don't, kind of feeling like what's the point and as much as this thing was about the challenge of getting from canada down to mexico doesn't take away from the amazing summer of experiences i've had out here it's with a heavy heart hiking back to cuba good old cdt fashion i figured i should not walk back the trail but take a bushwhack route The desert is beautiful. It's a totally different world in Colorado and Wyoming and Montana. I feel like I've walked into like this Jurassic period. I'm just leaving Cuba. I found out some news today in case I got off trail and I'm the last one of the group. <laughs> and I, I just, I really thought all four of us <laughs> it's kind of sad to know that um, they're home and I'm going to make them proud though. I, I'm going to get this trail done, I promise you. The guana is always the crier. <laughs> well, today is officially four months on trail. I'm the only one left. But I'm having a beer to celebrate. Somebody's got to celebrate. Wait, I have to pour this into a glass? I guess I didn't read the instructions. I just thought I bought a beer. Damn it, I don't have a glass. Can I still drink this? This place is beautiful. <laughs> There's no water, but it's, it's quite, quite lovely, quite lovely. Water! Not the prettiest water, but I guess it's gonna have to do. Drink up, I'll tell you about it. Oh shit, wrong way? Aha, thanks whoever put that sign up. Awesome view. I think I'm heading over there today. It's kind of quiet out here when you're on your own. <laughs> that spring is dry. <laughs> 28 miles to this spring. There it is. Oh, precious water. Oh man, that looks good. So excited. I'm gonna tank up like crazy. <laughs> but I was walking down the road and I saw this. And I was like, hmm, that doesn't look open. That's a full beer. Well, it's Halloween. I nearly cost you my hat. Big mustache. Made it to Mount Taylor. 11,301. Hell yeah. That's Grant's down there. I gotta take a shower when I get into town. There's like chocolate on my face. Jeez. But look at this cool like CDT sign. Like it's all welded and stuff. I'm out here by myself. I mean, I gotta get entertained by something, right? But I've been waiting for this sign forever. Look at it. Please do not forget a hitchhiker. Well, that's the most interesting thing I've seen all day. Fell on the lava, and as rock, rock is known to be very sharp and very painful. Take the road less traveled, and that's general good advice for life as well. And this is what the road less traveled looks like. Um, and right behind me is a lovely Pueblo house that was built in 1200 AD and most recently remodeled in 1400 AD. And if you are lucky enough to be walking along the CDT, I need a place to rest your head at night. Well, come on inside where you will find graffiti from previous people who have visited this place. And it seems like a lot of them in the most recent years, along with this bed to rest your head at night. Ooh, that's a pretty moon. That is my water source. It's gonna be delicious. Mile three. Three more miles till Pie Town. So, I'm so glad you stopped to stay and I got to give you a mom <laughs> hug and I know that you're gonna have fantastic <laughs> memories. By the lovely toaster house and now a road walk. Well, this morning I woke up and I didn't have my coffee cup, which that thing has gone the whole entire PCT with me and it's not gonna not make it on the CDT. So I walk back two miles and there it is, sitting down on the ground. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to have it back again. I don't know why it's so important, but it is. Something exciting finally happened today. I stumbled upon this old school car out here in the middle of nowhere. I like to think that the owner of the car 
just robbed a bank and like took off for the woods when the cops were chasing him and he got a flat tire. And so he had to leave his car and go bury his treasure before he, the cops arrested him and sentenced him for life imprisonment. And that's the reason why he never came back for his car out here. Hey there, spider, what are you doing? Okay, don't get too close to me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bears, the number one threat to America. I walked something like 2,000 something miles to get here and I have yet to see one bear this entire trip. The Gila River route is you have to cross the creek like somebody said it was like over a hundred times. Just go for it. Oh man. Like my new hat? I just found it out here. I think I'm going to keep it. I like it a lot. Oh, the beautiful canyon. Anytime something's beautiful, most likely it's going to be really hard. So today has been really hard. Boy, am I glad to see a sign. I guess that means I'm on trail. So thank goodness that like 12 miles took me all day. Jordan Hot Springs. Oh man, this place is rad. I am totally getting in right now. So the cold water, oh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh man. This canyon's so cool. There they are. Pretty sweet. They had a really good view. I live in a cave. If I could have this view. At Doc Campbell's, there's this um, riverside campground that also has hot springs. The lower part of the Gila River is amazing. There's been trail. I've crossed the river, you know, quite a few times, but who cares? Like there's some trail. There isn't debris everywhere. It's just been like a lovely walk in the God. desert. I don't pull my camera out fast enough when the food gets here. It just goes right uh, in, so. Looks like I'm getting some weather coming in. Well, this storm is totally better than any storm I encountered in Colorado. I just left Silver City, which means I have one more town, Lordsburg. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, I guess technically it's about four and a half months right now that I've been on trail, so <laughs> it's just crazy. It's been like a crazy journey, a trip. I just can't wait to get back home and reflect on what I've learned and all the experiences that I've had. Oh, oh I can almost taste it. Today's my last town stop. I made it to Easy Street. Ha! Yummy. And done. Yeah, my first water cash. I don't know if you can see that. But there's a person up there. Oh my gosh, I get to meet and talk to a person. I made it to my second water cache here out in the desert and I got here and I was like, oh man, someone's lucky enough to get oranges. Oh, it says iguana. <laughs> I think it might have been Jeffrey Sharp. Oh my gosh, he's, he's the gentleman who's gonna pick me up from the trailhead. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so good. <laughs> oh, this day is going to be great. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm being picked up at the border, so that means that this is the last full day on trail. Oh man, I don't even want to get out of my tent. Like, it's, it's coming to an end. It's, I don't know, I have mixed emotions about it. I'm excited, but yet, what am I going to do after this? Am I going to... I mean, I, I guess I'm not gonna wake up and walk anymore, so, like, I'm gonna do something else? And what is that something else? Oh my gosh! Okay. Well, first I'll just get to the border. Today's the last day. I'm about to put on my pack for what might be the last time for a while, at least to get up and hike. Okay. Here it goes. Woo! Aww. Southernmost point. I made it. I made it to Mexico. I made it to Mexico. Oh my gosh. I mean, I need to be fancy for this party, right? Ah. <sighs> That's better. Let's get this party started.
that motherfucker sounds so funny. Yeah. Um, I was the first to high five, swerving, bumping the curb when I drive. Now the place really goes to my ride. So bright, no way on this earth could I hide. And why would I want to? There's fondue on my pontoon. That whiskey is a monsoon. I party like a blonde dude. So many women like seven do a friend. All the hard work got them knowing who I am. We can take a picture, get a camera, do a friend. Everybody know I got them going, going, boom. I hear a car. Oh my gosh. Jeff Sharp's here. Jeff Sharp's here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jeff? Yeah. <laughs> We're leaving. Got me going bam, 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 bam. 